When you guys were at the scene, you guys weren't laughing at all. Mm -mm. There was nothing as a, and which is unusual for some firefighters. They're usually making jokes, but there was nothing going on there. That's that probably was, the only call that I went on in 32 years of my career that there wasn't any kidding around or making light of anything. Not, not right there. Even, even, even I heard even outside. You know, sometimes you guys may go outside to it's quiet. get a break. You said nobody was doing anything. Mm -mm. No, in fact, we uh, we had a battalion chief in there. Uh, John Tavetten, his father was a battalion chief. He uh, he died in the Hyatt, wow, and we were right. still we were looking for him. And uh, you know, it was it was not a good day for for the city or yeah. for anybody, especially these folks. And firefighters know. will make fun of anything. Yeah, I mean oh, they really do. They oh, laugh yeah. about everything. And like you said earlier, I heard you talking, and uh, mothers are. <laughs> that's it. You, know, yeah, I mean, that's you don't you don't cross that line. <laughs> Final class, class five of the series of tragedy, teasing, laughing, friendships, busting chops, making the rules. It's all going to come together here, and 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 I'm bringing going to bring Ray back too, Ray back into the series. Now, I pose them a very important question right up front that some of you may be wondering because I thought it was important that they all answer it. What would both of you guys say to people when they say it's wrong to laugh, it's wrong to find humor in this stuff? There's people that are like that, that'll say it's just wrong at a funeral or whatever. What would you say, what would you tell them? Well, I guess to each his own. I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to change anybody. I'm not one of these people that says, I don't eat meat, so you shouldn't eat meat. Okay, I don't eat meat. Well, I happen to laugh at things. That's how I handle it. If I find out that that offends you, I won't do it in front of you. Just like, the, the 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 slurs that we throw at each other. I would never do that in you front of, your friends, of, yeah. of, 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 of a, another Italian or a German or a Me I would never do that and offend them. Right. I'm trying to offend him because <laughs> I like him. <laughs> so you sure you weren't on the fire department? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm a good one. I'll tell you that. Ray, I'm going to put you on the spot because before we were talking, before you were here, we were talking about things that people say at a funeral, but. You have a very funny story oh, yeah. that's not funny when you were standing next to your dad's casket, yeah. how you used humor, and I mean, there you are standing next to your dad's casket, and I'll let you take well, it from there. Coincidentally, he was a Marine, too. Okay. South Pacific. Yeah. Uh, um, quite a extraordinary, one, one of my heroes, you know, obviously, but he passed away suddenly. Uh, actually, he was two years younger than I am now. He was 52, had a heart attack. He was working, and... Back then, this was in uh, you know mid to late seventy seven to be quite to be accurate, but uh, didn't have the ALS stuff we have mm -hmm. now, and he was out on the road and just didn't get him you know to a center in time, so they lost him. But uh, so he's there, and we're at the funeral. One of my best buddies comes in, and family's there. I'm, there's eight kids in my family. We have a big Irish Catholic family, and so everybody's around. One of my buddies comes up. He goes, "Wow, he looks great." I said, "When's the last?" When's the last time you saw him? <laughs> said he's dead for Christ's sake. He looks like hell. <laughs> really? He looks great. Is that the stereotypically politically correct thing that you're supposed to say right now? And that's what's making me feel better? He looks like shit, man. He's, he's but you, you really said that to him. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, uh, it's a buddy of mine I grew up with, and we're the same way. There is, you know, there's... Uh, there's uh, no slack there, you know. You just let him have it. And I mean, he was trying to be nice. That was the most awkward part. I'm like, <laughs> number one, you, why are you being nice? Number two, yeah, why are you th being that nice? That makes no sense what yeah. you just said. I yeah. Mean, and uh, court, and see, and you had him in a weak moment when he was being nice, and yeah. so you went yeah, for yeah, right there, it. you know, yeah. just right between the eyes. <laughs> no, Rega, you guys do that on the on, at the station too. Well, you guys. But you guys, it's a difficult thing right at the station. You got to be careful what you say about ethnic and racial things with oh. each other, don't you? Oh yeah. You can't just you can't just let it out. It's like what they were discussing earlier. You you know, uh, uh, there's a line, and uh, you're only invited to cross that line. It depends on your friendship and your working relationship, and we trust each other. We have to. I mean, what we do. So once that that bond is made, then it's pretty much it's open, open game. game. Yeah, it's you know that very well. No. I talked to a lot of firemen from, from here to New York and back, so.
Well, gentlemen, as I, as I said on the Flintstone, this meeting's over. <laughs> Turn in your antler, the bar's open. <laughs> <laughs> I thank you guys for coming in. And Vinny, why don't you come in here? This is last shot. And thank you guys and uh, for doing this. And uh, um, we, thank uh, you. Um, you bet, sir. We're going to go beat a drum and, uh, and <laughs> beat a drum and, <laughs> and, and bop, do. get drunk. Kumbaya. And, uh, <laughs> and so we got, we're in trouble, though. We got two Irish guys against a Jew and Italian. <laughs> so we better get some reinforcements here. <laughs> well, we know who's not going to pick up the tab. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they can throw a parade. Say what you want. That's yeah. right. They can throw yeah. a parade. That's right. And then, and then forget about it. Not remember. <laughs> and not even remember. Not even knew it happened. Right. But you know, we, I was very liberal for our time period. I let him date my sister. <laughs> so, I mean, wow. Yeah, yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, he dated my sister, and my oh. mother was okay with it. Yeah. Well, yeah. They, they, they thought she, I was. They thought I was she legally blind. <laughs> she, yeah, she was. was. She was. <laughs> they thought I, they thought I was Italian. <laughs> His mother was so funny. Just before she passed away, we were at a funeral, and she he, you had to know Barbara would say anything. And we're and, and she's deaf as a post, isn't she? Yeah. And she's blind, <laughs> and she's sitting out in the church up at St. James up there in Liberty. And I walk in up there, and I always announce myself to her because I know she can't see anything. And she and the 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 church is full of people out front. And I said, Barbara, it's Mark Williams. How are you? She goes, Hi, honey. You want to fool around? <laughs> I don't know, are we still rolling? I don't know why she'd tell us my daughter that you met is graduating from UMKC. Wait a minute, what'd you say? <laughs> what did you say to her? Yeah, where'd you go from there? <laughs> oh, better not. This is what I've been holding back from it. This is crossing that line. I nailed mama. <laughs> We got to end on a mother joke. He busted Vinny on a mother joke, and it all came together. How beautiful is that? I knew Vinny's mom. I really did date Vinny's sister a long time ago. All Italian neighborhood, they let the Jewish guy in. I think they thought I was Italian. I think they did. She was a hoot. Mark's a hoot. Vinny's a hoot. Ray's a hoot. All these buddies, all these guys that you just met in this series, how do you laugh through tragedy? Did you see that fly still here? I'm going to nail that fly. That tribe's going to go through a very tragic death if I have anything to say of it. And it's not Mr. Miyagi Chopsticks. He's going to get nailed. Anyway, anyway. I hope you got something out of this, this class and how you laugh through tragedy, how you bust chops, how you do all that together and when you know the rules and it's okay to tease. And I'm going to add a class to this and I know I, I said it was just five but I'm going to add six because Ray, Ren, the guy that you saw in that, just died. Ray just recently died. And uh, Mark and I went over to see him and he was dying. Matter of fact, they had me speak at Ray's funeral and tell the funny stories about what happened. And I'm touched right now, you can hear me. I'm starting to get, because it made a lot to me. Ray's a great friend, but I'm clenching. Remember, you can't cry and clench your butt cheeks at the same time, remember that? So that's what I did. So I'm gonna add a class that's coming up, and it's a tribute to my great friend, Ray Wynn, who just recently died, but a great human being who taught me why. You just have to laugh.